Welcome to the fifth section of this course in which we will start a journey of various object detection strategies. Object detection is one of the major applications of machine and deep learning on images and videos. And from this section onwards, we shall discover them one by one. In this section, we shall see two ways to perform object detection. The first method would be detecting objects using only their color. Like for example, finding a car in an image which is red in color. Obviously, this wouldn't be all that accurate. There may be lighting differences and moreover, there may be other objects with that same red color in the image and that will be detected as well. But in a constrained and monitored environment, this proves to be a really effective, computationally inexpensive and a very simple way to detect objects. To do this, we will be looking at a few concepts like histograms and back projection. The second method is more accurate as it is trained on particular objects which needs to be detected. We will use something known as a Haar cascade classifier to detect objects of interest in an image or a video. Right, so let's get started with this video and try to understand how histograms and back projection can help us detect objects using only their color. Simply put, a histogram is a graphical representation of the color distribution in an image. It plots the number of pixels in an image which correspond to a particular pixel value. Let us turn our attention to the image shown here. Assuming we have a grayscale image, if we plot a bar graph of the histogram, it might look something like this. There may be 10 pixels in the image whose values lie between the range 0 to 50. Similarly, there may be 15 pixels whose values lie in the range from 50 to 150. There may be 25 pixels in the range from 150 to 200 and around 21 pixels whose values are in the range from 200 to 255. These ranges of pixel values are called bins and are adjustable by the user. This histogram in particular has four bins. This graph captures the entire color information in the image. Assume we capture the histogram of this image which is completely blue in color. We can use this as a model histogram and use it to find areas in a new test image which has the same color distribution. In other words, the output image will only have our object of interest with that similar color pattern. So if we use the previously computed histogram of that blue image and use it to apply back projection on this test image, we can get a resulting image which looks like the one on the right. We have completely segmented only that part of the image which was similar to the image on which we calculated the histogram. We can use this exact same technique to locate objects using their color as well. The only difference being that we will have to compute the histogram of that color first.